It's obviously had profound literary influence uh, on people like Wordsworth and Coleridge and Hawthorne and Melville and Faulkner. Uh, one could do a whole uh, lecture on just literary influences author by author. D.H. Lawrence, who was hardly an Orthodox Christian, he wasn't, once said, I had the Bible poured every day into my helpless consciousness till there came almost, it came almost to the saturation point. He grew up in what we would call in England a nonconformist uh, church. It was not the Church of England, and everyone read the Bible uh, in the family at great, great length. Great political influence, and I think this is uh, something that we, again, could spend a whole uh, uh, lecture on. Uh, if you go through uh, the political philosophy of Abraham Lincoln or his speeches, you see that it's profoundly influenced by the language, the thought, and the ideas of uh, the King James Bible. But even someone like a Catholic president, like uh, Kennedy, uh, when you look at the structure of his speeches, the parallelism of it and so forth, the way he put words together, it's clearly showing that influence, whether it's direct or indirect. And you can go on from there to people like Winston Churchill and Martin Luther King. Uh, in the beginning, uh, I believe we had a masterpiece here, um, an, an amazing book that uh, is easily, an ar easily argued to be the most influential book not just the most influential Bible translation, but the most influential book ever published in the English language. That's the claim of Bartlett's Bible quotations. They have a whole book just of Bible uh, quotations, and they argue that that is uh, the case. 